Hi artists, we are going to make what I like to call a taco fish. I call it a taco fish because we're going to build the body of this fish sort of to look like a taco. My son Clark, who is now a sophomore in high school, made this and you can see the different parts of this fish. It has some eyes, it has a fin on top, it has a tail on the back. It has two fins on either side. We're going to be using air dry clay. I really like Crayola's air dry clay, but there are a lot of different kinds of air dry clay. Air dry clay doesn't go into a kiln. It just dries in the air. And because it takes about three or four or almost five days, depending on how humid it is in your house, we won't paint it today. I'm just going to show you how to make your taco fish. Another thing that we'll use is we will need a little bit of water and an old toothbrush, not a toothbrush you might use again. And we're going to build this on a piece of cardboard that I actually cut out from a cereal box. You're going to start with two fist sizes of clay. Now this is not very precise. So the more clay you use, the bigger fish you are going to have. You're going to start by rolling one of your lumps of clay into a ball. It doesn't have to be a perfect ball. And then you're going to use your crocodile fingers, your chomping crocodile fingers to chomp, chomp, chomp this circle, this sphere into a flat pancake. You can see that this is maybe about as wide as one of my fingernails. That's a tough, that's a tough thing to see. It's about as wide as a fingernail. The next thing you're going to need to do is you are going to roll up a bit of a paper towel. When we're making our taco fish, we're going to use the paper towel to help us keep the mouth open. I don't want to catch my paper towel up on this part up here. So I'm gonna sort of roll it down, make sure it doesn't catch. And to make sure that this side sticks well to this side, I'm going to give it a little bit of a toothbrush. I'm getting a little bit of water on my toothbrush and I'm going to scratch. Sometimes this is called scoring. I like to slip and score the things that I attach. Now, did you see that? I pulled my fish up like a taco. I'm not going to close that part, and I definitely can't close the part where the paper towel is coming out. But I am going to squeeze the top. This is going to make that top fin part of my fish. All right, I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to move on to my other ball of clay. To make the tail, I'm going to squash it down with my finger to make sort of a triangle shape. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I am also squeezing with my fingers to make it have that fish tail shape. Do you see how I worked for a while getting it just the way I wanted? And that's okay, sometimes it takes a while. Now remember this part that's open here? This is where the tail is going to go. But I need to make sure it's going to stick really well. So I need to slip and score it. I'm gonna get my toothbrush, brush that side, brush that side. I'm going to put the tail right in there and I'm going to squeeze it together, just like Let's make those fins on the side. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to make another pancake. 
another circle and I am going to use a tool, probably something like a pencil or in this case, a pair of scissors. All I wanna do is just pull a line down the middle and it'll cut it apart. So I'm now going to attach these fins on either side. Remember to slip and score it. I'm gonna rough up that side of my fish. I'm going to rough up that side of my fish. I'm going to get my fin the shape that I want. I'm going to give a little toothbrush on that side. And where I've scored these together, I'm going to press it in like that. Let me show you on the other side. I'm going to slip and score it by using my toothbrush. So I've got my little fin here and I just am going to stick it on and give it a little wiggle to make it stick. Now, one thing I can do at this point is now that my fins are attached really well, I could sort of pull them out a little bit if I want to, make them have a little bit more shape. All right, so now I have a fish. It has a tail, it has two fins, it has a big open mouth, and I need to give it some eyeballs. So I'm going to divide this in half. That extra clay I can just use for something later. I'm rolling two balls of clay in between my hands like this. They don't have to be perfect, but I definitely need a little more water on my toothbrush. And I'm going to slip and score those eyeballs on. Eyeballs are the things that fall off the easiest. So make sure once you slip and score this, you stick that eyeball on and you wiggle it in place to make sure it's stuck. Let me show you with the other eyeball. I'm going to scratch it and attach it. I'm going to make sure that I wiggle that eyeball on so it's really stuck on well. All right, I've got those two spheres on my taco fish. The easiest way to make that eye is I could use the end of my toothbrush to just poke in there like this and give it his eyes. So now we have this fish with a crazy open mouth. I don't think I'll be able to add a tongue because I want to keep this paper towel in to help the fish dry with some support. I've got my eyes, I've got my fins and a tail, and this fin on top. The only thing I don't have is texture. Texture is something that you can feel. Sometimes you can see texture in a painting and sometimes you can really feel texture. I'm just going to use a pencil. And for the texture that I'm going to use, I'm just going to draw some texture on the fins like this. I could draw it on the fin here. I could make some lines on the back of the tail like this. And if I wanted to, I could even draw some scales. I could take some time and add a lot of texture. So now the trick with air dry clay is to actually let it air dry. Like I said, it could take about three or four days for this fish to dry in the air. The best thing to do is to just leave it on this thing that you made it on and put it near a windowsill or some sun that will help it to dry. I can't wait to see your fish.